guys going to Walmart. Let's see what they have in the planty section while I do some other shopping. We're here located in Florida. What city? Northport. Northport. Okay, let's see what Northport has to offer. Guys, I just came into this Walmart. I'm doing some groceries at Florida. And... Uh, This is what I was looking for, guys. I told you, I told you I was looking for a white knight. Wow, the new Costa Furnace is releasing. Ooh, fun, 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 20 bucks. It has the white stem on it. How pretty is that? Oh, white little splash. Okay, so there's that one. There's this one. I'll go with this one. Doesn't look that good. Definitely not that good compared to the other. Wow, yay! It's just so exciting the first time you find a plant you're really looking for. So this is what's so cool about Costa Farms that every year they release some new plants that used to be hard to find and they used to be very expensive. Yes, this one has two in it, guys. This one has two. This one has one. Definitely would make sense to get the one that has two. Let's look. I'm looking also at the white of the stem. This one has, it has some white, but this one has more white. See that? That variegation, gorgeous, right? But this one has more white in the stem, this one has less white in the stem. Yeah, help me decide. That one looks really bad. Yeah. The one with two plants? Two. And although this one has more white on the stem, Just do a little, a little quick sneak here. We have the beautiful Peru that are growing nice and long already. The Raffi de Forba. Um, which one is this one? The <laughs> Shingle Vine Raffi de Forba Hayi. Forgot 20 bucks. Uh, we have a lot of Swiss cheese, Monstera, not the cheese, not the one you eat. And this one, that's a pretty leaf. Are you the lemon meringue or are you the golden golden glow? Let's check out. Golden glow. It's just to me they're looking so much alike. Oh, this one's so full and gorgeous. And this one's still a golden glow. We have the silver dragon scale. Uh, this beautiful epipernum that I am forgetting the name of now. That I have, and she's gorgeous. It's gonna come back to me. What's the name of this one? I got. <laughs> Guys, we have had a long day of work. Um, so I, it's been hot out here, and I have a little brain, slow brain now. But. Decided we were gonna get some groceries and decided to stop by. <gasps> you are kidding me! I found a beautiful astrophytum, right? 547? Ooh. This is gorgeous. I love you. And are you flowering for real? This is a real flower. Showing you the flowers already. 547. You see the fake one in the middle? Fake? real guys don't let it fool you there is a difference you gotta see how it's connected right you can see the difference once <laughs> oh this is gorgeous oh fun my fun this is a pretty one too hmm. they have some pretty ones pretty cacti I was interested to see if Florida had more cactus more cactus and varieties that we normally don't get in North Carolina just because Florida is a little hotter and I, th I know there's a lot of nurseries here 
Um, so I was really interested to see what Florida has to offer and if it had more variety so far. I'm not seeing like a whole lot bigger so far, but I'm going to keep searching for you guys. Okay, I wanted to go over here. There's another little cactus section. These domino cacti are gorgeous. They're looking great. If you don't have any, I would highly recommend it. This, I don't normally see it back in North Carolina. They don't have names. They are $4.97 in this size. This is adorable. So cute. Then we have some palms. We have some fiddle leaves. And these are 24 84 Some beautiful different bakyas. It doesn't have the exact name, but it's a beautiful leafed one, and it's 1984. Okay, guys, I from far away saw this <gasps> autograph talent, right? Okay, yeah, this one we don't normally get it under the sun, 1484. We normally don't get it at my Walmart at all, so that's really cool to see. Let me show you something else we normally don't get in North Carolina's Walmarts. You see these giant beauties? I love palm trees, guys. So they have some beautiful palm trees here. Let me give you a far away look. And I'm going to give you a close up. This one is $144. It says a uh, Donida palm. And then here to the left, the $64 a spindle palm. And that's what I have. I have a spindle palm. If if you haven't seen my backyard patio videos, that's where I show her. Okay, gorgeousness. See, the spindle palm has this orange here in the middle stem. I think it's really pretty. Look at these cuties. Look at these cuties. What are you called? These are called Phoenix Palm, $64. I'm gonna have to research how, what temperature they withstand. Phoenix palm. I remember that because if I could take any palms home that withstand 30s, then I would take it. Okay, guys. So, hey, look at this beautiful clay. Yeah, this one's 1688. They do so good here, just outdoors. They do so good. People can keep these beautiful plants outdoors. There's no names, but this is beautiful. A lot of beautiful flowers. Let me show you then. Okay, they have these little succulent collect baskets for $14.96 that I hear gorgeous. A lot of Swiss cheese monsteras, little Swiss for $20. And they have a lot of these little cute, cute, cute succulents. Look how they grow. It's a type of crassula, is it? $2. Mini succulents, so cute. And then these are the elephant bush, $6.96. Okay guys, ready to see what I got? I am surprised! But I found a cactus. You normally don't find a big box store. So if you see one of these one day, grab it. It's a Bishop's Cap Astrophytum and it was $5.47. So it's not one you run into normally unless you're going to a nursery that has a lot of big variety of uh, cactus collection so i am so excited about this find i had one and it actually died in winter and it, i found it it wanted more water than when i was giving it so i'm going to try to take better care of it you know there's always second chances right so you can learn how to take care of your plants i love it because it's smooth there's no spines on it and it's supposed to give a yellow flower it's a pretty decent size this is probably four inches uh at least across so yeah, I'm gonna take care of this baby. Let me show you the next one. This is my next find. Are you surprised? I knew you knew I was gonna get this one. Why not? This is awesome. It's a philodendron white knight. And again, if you guys know, uh, if you're collecting plants, you know that this is a plant that was very expensive to get um, a few, a year ago. 
So knowing that now it's arriving at big box stores, it's really, really exciting. And what's so cool about these plants is, first, they're philodendrons, they're easy to take care of. Second, these have white variegation. So to me, the fun is you never know each leaf that unfurls how much white it's gonna get. And some come out with some cool, cool markings. So that's what you're expecting, that's what you're looking for. And that's what I expect to do to enjoy with this plant. And I'm glad there's two in it because it'll create a bigger plant, a fuller uh, plant. So I believe this is definitely one that's going to climb. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to probably have to put a little stick to it, a pole, moss pole or something when it's a little bit bigger so it can climb. Oh, I love philodendrons very, very much. So this looks a lot like the philodendron. Um, there's the white knight, which is this one. And there's a... Uh, pink princess and um, it's not a knight what's the third one uh, white, wizard. white wizard white wizard and this one look a lot alike um but this is so anyways i didn't care which one i got i just had not bought one of these i'm so glad i had not bought it and i waited it out so i only paid 20 dollars for these two plants anyways i hope you guys find them i've been going to a lot of stores finally found one seems like they're not arriving big masses when they arrive at just a few in certain stores you never know which store it could be a home depot it could be a lowe's or it could be a walmart so maybe some other stores too from coastal farms they're bringing coastal farms plants too i hope you enjoyed this sweet video a short video i hope you enjoyed it i was just sharing this little amazing find bye hey guys so i want to give you a little update on my white night that i got um it's been two weeks now actually and this has happened this is the weirdest thing. I, it didn't come when I, I have not watered it in two weeks. Uh, I did see it sweating water, uh, maybe four days in, three days in. So I knew it didn't need more water. Um, it, did, it wasn't puddled with water either when I bought it. It didn't seem like extra heavy or like it had, had extra water in it. Of course, cause this is a ceramic. It doesn't have a hole underneath. Um, like if, you know, I always want to make sure that they didn't like flood it with water at the, at the store. But um, there is good news and bad news. The good news, check out this new leaf that's coming. Oh my, check out that new leaf. It's gonna have so much white. There's two plants in here. This is one, this is another. It seems like this one to the right has more white. It's gonna give me more white. That leaf is pretty. They're both gonna be giving me more white, I'm, I'm sure. But this is what I noticed. Um, I came one of the days after I bought it and I, this leaf wasn't as terrible, but it had like, like you see here, this darkness here and I touched it and it just melted off. Right in the middle, it started this little um, mushiness. And right now, a few days later, the whole leaf just fell off. And then this one, I actually yanked off a little bit off myself because it started, it had that mushiness too. But you see, it doesn't start from here. It starts, it just could start in the middle and the leaf fell off. All of these leaves are fine. So I have it sitting outdoors where it's getting air, warmth, so it can dry out the soil quicker. Maybe another thing I can do is do this, right? I mean, there's no water puddling in here at all. It's dry, dry, so it shouldn't really affect it. Um, but yeah, I think it's an overwatering thing because if I touch the bottom here, I still have a little bit of drops of water. You see the humidity there? Um, oh, see how it's sweating water? I have not watered it in two weeks and it hasn't been rained on. So I am going to just set this on the side. Let it even breathe more without the ceramic. Um, I cannot repot it right now. I'm actually at a friend's house. So I can't repot it, you know, into more of a, this is a lot of cocoa core, which holds a lot of humidity. I definitely would want to repot this into just some chunkier. Hopefully it won't get re -pot that from here to then. But see, ooh, yes, this plant has a lot of water. You see, it just, I just cut this leaf off and it's oozing water. So yes, now I know as I'm talking to you, it's definitely something that had been overwatered at the store. So it didn't know what to do with the water. So it was releasing it in the leaves and creating this mushiness. I just hope the roots will be saved. They said I can't repot it now, but um, just letting the air dry, not watering it. Okay, good things to come though. I think she's gonna make it. I think philodendrons.
don't have very thin roots that are going to rot quickly as long as I'm not watering it more for some time. But anyways, just wanted to give you a little plant update.